This conference will now be recorded. Skin rule by the name it says this is for appearance purpose. Appearance means the design of user interface, how it should be visible like that. For example, if you go to any section, for example, if you go to section, in a section we have layouts. We have layout and different formats of layouts is available. If you go to click on the properties of the layout, here you can see layout format, inline grid double. Suppose if I choose inline grid double, it is going to give you two records, two columns. Two columns will be given. Suppose you add one more, it will go into the next one. Like two columns and number of rows. Suppose if you give inline grid triple, it is going to be three columns. So the options what you are cho choosing here for layout format, inline grid double, inline grid triple, stacked with labels left, like this there are a number of formats available. All these are going to define appearance of your user interface. Suppose if you have a button, okay, if you use buttons anywhere, if you want by default buttons to be coming in blue color and some thick text and all or red color something like that that means you are going to make changes in your skin rule skin rule is going to define appearance of ui elements ui elements can be it can be layouts it can be controls anything see skin rule if you create we can refer in two places one is portal and other one is application rule form skin rule which is called in portal rule will be applicable to that portal suppose the skin rule is defining let us say button tick blue color buttons by default if you add any button automatically you'll get tick blue color that is how in this skin buttons are being designed for their appearances defined for their appearances if you call skin rule in portal only up to this portal anywhere if you use buttons automatically those buttons will come in blue color but for other portals, this skin will not be applicable. Other portals, let's say you have buttons green color and all, then green color buttons it will display for other portals. But if you call skin rule in application rule form, then that is applicable to entire application. Means if the buttons is green color here, that is applicable to all the portals in your application. So if you call skin rule in application level, Anything that is available in that skin is applicable to entire application, to all portals, all sections, all har harness rules and all. If you call skin rule in only one, one portal, that is applicable up to the portal. Let me open the skin rule and show you. This is how a skin rule looks like. You will not be frequently working on this, but still, if you wanted to know, just look at here. Okay, let me open it again. Okay, this is how a skin rule looks like. So look at here. On left side of the skin rule, you see dynamic layouts. In dynamic layouts, we have layout format as default. So how a default format should look like is defined within a skin rule. A default format of width 100% and you can give this height and all, minimum height is 32 pixels. If you change it here and then save it, it will be applicable to dynamic layout wherever you use in this portal of designer studio so footer menu header menu inline like this there are a number of dynamic layout formats are available suppose similar to inline grid double suppose i have selected inline grid double so here columns per row how many columns are there two columns are available so as inline grid double is been defined as 
two columns per row. When you choose the option inline grid double, it is displaying two columns. Inline grid triple. Similarly, suppose if I wanted to create my own layout format, I need to click on actions and then choose save as. If you click on save as, then it is going to ask you to create a new format. Inline grid, let's say five. So five columns. And here you submit this. And now you got a new layout format where it, it, it says inline grid, five columns. And here you can choose columns per row, how many I want, five. And remaining everything is same. You just private edit this and then save this. Now what you will be getting at runtime, at, uh, sorry, at the design time, whenever you are using dynamic layout, dynamic layout will have another type of layout format called inline grid, five columns. So if you choose inline grid five columns in the layout format, you will get five columns per row. Like this, you can go ahead and design your own column structure for the layouts. This is for dynamic layout. Similarly, if you click on this icon, it is not only dynamic layouts. How many different types of user interface rules that we can apply, user interface comrades. See here, screen layouts, action area, model dialog. Suppose if you choose model dialog, by default, model dialogs will be displayed like this. Okay, I'll just, okay. So if you go ahead with model dialog, not action area. Model dialog. See, model dialog again has these many formats. Standard format, fixed size, like this. See, standard format has, these are the parameters. You wanted to change anything, you can go ahead and actions and save as you create your own format for this and your own options to be chosen and then proceed forward that will be available at the design time. Similarly, you have checkbox control, okay, radio button controls. Let's say radio buttons. If you choose radio button, now this is radio buttons. We have radio buttons like standard radio buttons and status is something like this. See, here the radio buttons, any background okay. mixins they're using, I'll explain about mixins, hang on. See, I, I'll, I'll go with another one, buttons. Yeah, button has standard strong. Suppose if you go to strong, you can see the colors being used is blue color. Here, example, you can see, this is like a blue color. Suppose if you save as this and then create something similar to one more format and make it as a green color. Then when you add a button and go double click on the button and go to presentation tab, you are getting simple, strong. Similarly, you will also get one more option which you have added. For that, what is the colors and all you have chosen, those colors will be available. So like this skin rules can be very simple to you, uh, use in Pega because you're not required to have any knowledge about your HTML related coding and all, because it is all about user interface again. What should be the height? What should be the background? What are the colors and all? Here itself you can choose. See for strong it is green color. Suppose if I change from green, uh, sorry, blue color. If I change from blue color to green color, what will happen? And then save this. For strong you will get always green color. So like this, as per the business requirement, business is expecting to see all the buttons in green color in your portal, in one of the portal. Then you go to skin rule and then update, create, open one of the existing one and then go ahead with save as and create your own by your own name uh, for the format and change the parameters. At runtime, uh, at the design time, you will get the new format like strong, simple. You will also get the new format that you have created. and the parameters what you have applied will be available for that. If you call the skin rule in the portal room, then that is applicable to portal. That means wherever you use buttons, you will get the formats like simple, standard, strong, and more other formats which you are going to create. So if you call the skin rule in application level, throughout the application, anywhere in any portal, that particular new formats that you have added are the formats which are available in the skin will be available. So like this skins can be applied at the portal level or skins can be applied at the application level. So coming to the other one called mixins.
<laughs> in a skin while you are defining styles you can go ahead with use a mix in and you can go ahead and choose the mix in here from the drop down so what mix in that you wanted to choose so what do you mean by mix in and what is the purpose of the mix in is mix ins are generally been referred within the skin rules where mix ins are going to define the typography and the background and the borders and further few combinations means typography means what type of font should be used suppose you wanted to use a font let's say font is uh, times new roman font you wanted to use you want to, business is asking use times new Ro, uh, times new roman font which is bold for all text input labels for all radio buttons and drop downs and for other types of control it's a different type of font if that is your requirement see what you have to do you have to go to skin rule and you have to choose here text inputs you have to choose um, radio buttons and drop downs for them labels have to be updated with the respective font instead of that what you what is the best you can do is you can go ahead and for the text you can go ahead and use mix in and then apply the mix in if you apply the mix in what will happen within the mix in you can define the style within a mix in if you define style as typography as bold times new roman then wherever you wanted to go ahead and apply times new roman with bold and let's say blue color you can directly choose mix in so mix ins are going to define only the type of the font that it can use and the appearance of the font and borders for the user interface if you wanted to define you can go ahead and use it apart from that it will also define the background color see background color for all dynamic layouts business is asking all dynamic layouts should have a background color of let's say light blue so what you have to do you have to go to skin rule and you have to choose dynamic layout here for the dynamic layout let's say default layout in anywhere you have the background color being used here then you have to find out that background color and then change it to green color but instead of doing this so selecting here itself if you create that as a mix in a mix in with background color as light blue here in the controls you can go ahead and use mix in option if you have a way if you have mix in option available for some of the things you can go ahead and choose mix in option mix in option then choosing the mix in option it is going to add the same mix in parameters to the respective controls or layout formats or styles everything will be copy pasted so mix in is going to define only for font and then borders and background and few other combinations that's it so mostly in your real time application development you will not be regularly getting even this numbers also you are not required to know because it will be provided with the colors here so these colors if you are aware of that is fair enough otherwise if you wanted to deal with the numbers you can google it html uh, what is this numbers you call hexadecimal num hexadecimal numbers for colors if you find out somewhere in websites you will find out that you can copy paste the name of that particular color you will get it it's not only about colors so any type of layout any type of control if you wanted to go ahead and apply some styles throughout the portal level or throughout the application level then the solution is you have to go ahead and do it at skin level suppose if you go to section directly you go to section user interface section and open this section see if you double click on this and go to presentation here in the presentation you should have inline options advanced presentation option see here suppose inline style um, okay suppose if i'm going to choose it like Then drop there. I'll have to check out right on this presentation and then here you go with this one. Open this outlet. Why drop ups are not coming? Similarly, here also I should okay. 
So anyway, you can read only classes, read write classes. One second. I'll choose another type of control. Let's say text input. Let's say label. It is very easy to see. If you go to label, some sample text is there. Presentation options. I think it is not working. If you are going to get this option, uh, this pop up, you can choose the styles. Let's say here I will try once. It's not about borders and all. If you get this inline style, anyway, here also you will get the options like what is the font size, what should be the font format, and what should be the font color, like that you are going to get. See, this inline styles also you can define, but it is not recommended for production usage. If you define inline style, that is applicable only to this particular control in this section. But instead of this, the same styles if you apply at skin level. If you go to skin level, and skin level, what is that we are talking about? labels right labels and required fields see if you if you go out and choose for the label here any format that you apply here for the labels this will be applicable to entire all the labels in the portal where you are referring this particular skin rule so like this skin rules are going to define the appearance where inline styles is not recommended any appearance changes that you wanted to make for the control throughout the portal level you have to make it in the portal skin. If it is application level, you have to make it in the application skin. It doesn't need any programming knowledge, nothing. It is just simply, you need to go to, suppose if business is asking for the uh, layouts, then you have to find out the layouts here and choose for the layouts. And if business is asking for, one second. this is screen layout. If business is asking for controls, you have to apply for the controls here. So like this, containers, layouts, formats, dynamic layouts, like this, whichever the one you wanted to apply, some styles, you can apply at the skin level, where you can save as the skin rule. This is designer studio, right? You don't change it. For your manager portal or user portals and all, skin rules will be available, which you can save as and then modify it, okay, accordingly. So that is about skins and mixins. Mixins are reusable portions within the skin rules where mixins are going to define typography, borders, and background, and few other combinations of something. Wherever you want the specific typography and borders and background colors and all, you can use mixin. Then the mixin is going to be applicable for that particular layout formats or control formats accordingly. 